Perhaps you've never used a password manager before. Perhaps you haven't even heard of what defensive security experts call one of the top five things you can do to protect yourself from a cyber attack. If so, we're going to change that today. Passwords originated in early computing history as a way to solve the privacy issue of time-sharing systems. The way that the backend computers store, validate, and use passwords continues to evolve, yet the majority of people still hold a primordial concept of what a password can be. In the past decade, more security-conscious approaches have been gaining favor over antiquated models of simply mentally retaining a word or two for authentication onto the wide world of the internet. From increasing entropy by utilizing multiple character sets to using passphrases and other mnemonic tricks, the supposed ingenuity of these approaches is, in reality, simply security theater. There are only a couple of proven ways to increase your security posture when it comes to authentication. Unfortunately, most of these approaches are necessarily difficult to remember or even to manually curate. That's where Password Manager comes into play, and especially one that does more than just manage passwords, as we'll see in just a few key features of Bitwarden today. The first thing to note about Bitwarden is that it does not expose your master password over the internet. Despite me typing it into the web form, it will be able to authenticate with a backend service without sending my plain text password across the internet. Next, we come to the key usage of Bitwarden, which is to create unique passwords per service. So for instance, if I wanted to add a login type and I needed to generate a brand new password, um, Bitwarden has a way to do that. So for the password field, while I'm going to create this account, I can have Bitwarden generate that password for me. If there's a case where I need to change my password, Bitwarden is able to handle that as well. If I go into the item to generate a new password, it will ask me if I want to overwrite the current password. Uh, I'll accept that and save the resulting item. If then I go in to look at that item, I will see that I have a password history. This means that every time I change the password, Bitwarden remembers it for me. This way passwords are never lost or forgotten. As we saw, Bitwarden generated a random password for me. What are the parameters and how are they set? Well, in the tools section where we find the password generator, we can set all the parameters that go into making a password. Uh, for a password, we can choose the length of the password, recommended somewhere between 12 to 16 characters. Um, also, we can choose to have a minimum amount of numbers or special characters, depending on the character sets that we enable at the bottom here. One of the other recommendations in the top five ways to protect yourself against a cyber attack is to use two-factor authentication. Bitwarden is able to do so using the authenticator key, and you can use that with any service that uses a two-factor authentication. To demonstrate, I'm going to use the Authenticator web app and I'm going to copy the URI into Bitwarden's vault. And saving that, I can go back in here and it will display to me the time left for the validity of the code as it counts down it starts getting red. And then the code itself with a copy option right here. You can see it restarts at 30 seconds. So this is a safe time to, to copy that. And then I'm going to go back into the app here. I'm going to paste the code that I got out of Bitwarden. I'm going to verify and it says that it is correct here. Uh, so we can see how easily that Bitwarden not only allows us to implement custom passwords per website, but also implement two-factor authentication on those websites as well. Simply beginning to use these several very useful features of Bitwarden will alleviate an entire swath of security issues that you didn't even know you were vulnerable to. If you found that Bitwarden has strengthened your security posture online, or if you have any questions about it, visit us at rcompose.com. And if you're ready to get started with Bitwarden, you can also sign up for your free trial of your own Arcompose instance today at rcompose.com.